want access to your DNA. And many of you went straight ahead and allowed and gave them access. Back in the day, notice I say back in the day, like so many years ago. Back in the day, in order for people to work sorcery on you, they needed access to your DNA. Either through um, you signing a deal with the devil in your blood or um, you... Um, Bring it back, Holy Spirit. They needed your hair clippings, a portion of your hair, your clothing, something with your essence on it, something with your DNA on it. They needed your nail clippings. They needed something to gain access to you. And if they couldn't gain access to you, they would put it on a path that they would anticipate you walking on. Because there has to be some point of contact. There has to be some type of covenant, some type of agreement. And some of y'all willingly came and gave them access to the vibe. It was this end-time deception. End-time deception. Because these fallen have lost their spot in heaven, they want you to lose the spot too. They are trying to trick and deceive you in giving up your rights to heaven. Because nothing contaminated can enter heaven. God is a holy God and only holiness can enter. But if you have been contaminated, you need to be purged. You need to break the down godly covenant. You need to repent. God is saying in the book of Isaiah, he said to wash the daughters of Zion from their filth. People of God, God say, be holy for he is holy. And the enemy is tricking and deceiving mankind so you can forfeit your access to heaven. Genesis 6 and 5 says, Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. Do you know how angry you have to make God for him to regret making you? He said, I will just do away with everything. I can just wipe clean. I can start over with a lot of things. That's where there's so much flooding in the earth and it will increase in different regions. People of God, wake up. Wake up. They know the abominations. They know. So verse 7 says, So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. All they're doing is trying to get God to regret making his creation again that's what they're doing and they're, they're sneaking it it's already started to take place but this is why you need to establish and maintain a relationship with the most high God amen there was a reason why God only wanted two of each kind on the ark Pure bloods. Everything was contaminated. God said, I'm going to start over. I'm going to start clean. Noah, you seem to be the only one listening. Bill is asking me in the meantime. Get, when you finish, get two of every pure blood on the ark. Male and female. Not female and female. And not male and male. Male and female. This is what God wanted to do when he wanted to start fresh. He already did his creed. Done to his creation, but the enemy came in. Right? And what happened? God did over, and guess what? The enemy came again. The enemy is here again, trying to cause the same thing to happen again. Matthew 24 and 37 says, But as the days of Noah were, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will be the coming of the Son of Man be. People of God, there have been many warnings about flooding. God is coming, God is coming in great waters. And a lot of you are distracted. A lot of you are not paying attention. A lot of you are eating and drinking and partying. You all over social media, living your best life until the flood can come again. 
And I just pray you get it right. Because at the end of the day, Noah was obedient to the Holy Spirit. Noah was obedient to the Holy Spirit. Although Noah was a drunk, he was obedient to the Holy Spirit. He was a pure blood and he was obedient to the Holy Spirit. So he was qualified. A lot of you, <laughs> I can try to be nice. A lot of you turn up your noses at people and don't know who they are to God. God is willing to work with whoever is obedient to him. Come to God as you are. God does all the cleaning himself. Don't think that you're not ready to serve God. Listen, Noah just, Noah was ready. He was willing to be used by God. How many people think that they are mightier than others and they are still disobedient to the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit speaks to them? You ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make the cut. You're not gonna make it in the ark. You're not. It's God's chosen. It's gonna be the remnant. It's gonna be those who are obedient to God's voice. Those who have criminal records. Those who have a lengthy history and a horrible past. Those who will hearken unto the voice of God and do what he say, obey his statutes and commandments. When he say move, they move. When he say jump, they say, oh, hi, Lord. The remnant. People of God, get ready. There are so many back-to-back -back warnings of flooding. Lord said to give you the scripture. Genesis 6 and 8. It says, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. This is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. Maybe he stumbled under the influence, but it was his obedience that saved him and his family. It was his obedience that brought grace and allow him to live and see another day. It was the grace of God that allowed him to survive the flood. People of God, the flood is coming again. It won't be the entire earth. It's coming in, in sections. I mean, God said he would never flood the earth. And that's like totally flooding the earth again. But it's happening in sections. It's happening in different regions. And I just pray that we all be ready. People of God, get into the ark of safety and stay there. Do what God is asking you to do. He's asking you to prepare for famine. Famine is coming and he needs his people to be ready. He needs you to be able to sustain, to be sustained in these end times. A lot of people are going to get caught off guard. Listen, I had this dream. I'm going to close with this. I had this dream after Hurricane Dorian, probably like a year after Hurricane Dorian. And I saw, it was like a, Hor horrific aftermath. There was no place um, for you to drive. You literally had to walk everywhere. And there were people at the airport here in Grand Bahama walking through the wreckage. There was no more fencing, no, no more perimeter, nothing. There were planes in pieces. And there were families sifting through the wreckage, hoping to find some food and drink in these airplanes because there was no food here. There was no food here in the aftermath of a storm. Which storm that would be, I do not know. But God is saying to his people to prepare. Not only do you have to prepare for his judgments that are already starting to take place in this earth, but to prepare for famine. And with so many ones back to back, when you see the judgment really fall in this region, it can be back to back too. And every nation, see, be used to Something happened in the Bahamas and then America comes to the rescue. America got its own issues. And when the big storms come, every man can be for himself. Every nation can take care of their own first. So if you don't have nothing to survive in your nation and your nation is heavily reliant on import, you 
your nation in trouble. Grow your own food. Be a self-sufficient nation. God is saying to invest in agriculture and fishery and pure food sources. Because the contaminated versions are altering the genetic code, your God-given DNA. And once you give the enemy access to your DNA that God has kept you protected with, all hell can break loose. And you can wish for that, but that ain't gonna come. People of God, get ready. God has given the instruction. All you gotta do is take heed, listen, and obey. Amen? Receive the word of the Lord.